Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm Art. This is my channel. And this is my flatbed. My dad has had this thing forever and he's passed it on to me. And so I'm going to do some work on it, get it back up to speed. Uh, I'm not saying he neglected or anything, but there was a bunch of stuff that he couldn't really take care of it on anymore. So I went through, rewired it, and did everything with the wiring. Had this trailer 20 years, I think. Yeah, 20 years. Hauled race cars, trucks, everything you can think of on this trailer. And never, ever once did I know that it had trailer brakes. It's always had a four prong plug ever since I can remember. And then I crawled under here to do the wiring and saw that it had electric brakes. They just weren't wired up. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about, but I went and got a uh, breakaway and a battery and then the seven way rewired everything. It's all hooked up. Trailer brakes are a little weak, probably why they were disconnected, but we can upgrade those to the later point. But that's not why we're here today. Eventually this is all getting sanded down, repainted, and uh, stain the wood and so on and so forth. But I don't want to do that until we tear apart that motor home sitting in my backyard. So I'm gonna use this thing to haul away all the crap. But for right now, I can't use it at all to haul any cars or anything like that because of this. Damn! So what happened here was a forklift was loading some stuff up for my dad, caught and pulled this back. I've already bent it back into place uh, some it was touching here. You couldn't fit anything between but So it broke over here looks like it's been repaired a time or two, but it broke here so That's not connected anymore all the way across and down and it also Broke the hanger for the ramps both sides is broken and it doesn't look like Where the welds broke it kind of broke flush with the actual beam itself so i don't think the penetration was very good uh, but we're going to cut this all off straighten it out and weld it back up broke all right so i'm going to get cutting on this thing get it cut off and we'll try and bang it out straight the best that we can the time to replace this wood would be now while this is cut off, but this wood is good. It just needs sanded down and stained and it's, it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, it's only a hundred degrees out here. So sparks and heat, stuff like that should be perfect. Let's get started on this. So that was less than fun and took way longer than I wanted to. I pulled up this board here because as you can see, the trailer's been dinged, one would say, right there and it's pushed in. So I'm gonna chain it up to something strong, give it a little tug, see if I can't pull that out a little bit, straighten out this bar, get it all straightened out as best we can, just so we know it's done and done right. As you can see, it's out, 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 in. And then out again. So straighten that out. Do it right while we get it off. This is how you do it, right? Chain it to an irreplaceable vehicle. Pull this out. I think that's how it's done. Pretty sure that's how it's done. It's moving a little bit. I'm going to persuade it with a sledge on the inside. Try and get it pulled out just a little bit more. A little bit will go a long way, so that's all I'm hoping for in that. And then we'll start cleaning this up and welding it all back together. It'll work. All right, so update. It didn't move at all. It's not going to move. I'll have to chain it to some sort of uh, skyscraper or something and yank on it. 
uh, with the truck to try and straighten it out. But I'm not going to do that right now. So what we'll do is we'll leave it right where it is because it's not going anywhere. Clearly, because it's not moving. But uh, we'll straighten out the rest of this crap, this thing. And then straighten this out. We'll clean it up and start welding it up. Because that's really what we came over here to do. Got a little sidetracked, but, you know, the perfectionist in me says to leave it the way it is. Like we're gonna do some dirty welding. Just get the torch and try and burn up some of this impurities and paint. And then we'll just go to welding, wire feed, everything. All of it. All the way across. <sighs> wire brush. If I can find one. My choices. Is that good? So I use the torch to cook the paint. And then I hit it with this wire brush to take it off. It's not perfect. The best way to do it is with uh, some sort of you know, wire brush on a wheel or you know, grinder, sandy disc, something get it off but this will get us close enough we should be able to get a good nice weld at least we can get the pool hot and then push it across any impurities working with what i got guys this isn't my shop oh yeah safety goggles all right let's do this you know i really wish i hadn't sold my welder because over the last couple days, I've been looking for one just for this project and any other project that comes up. And uh, these things are freaking expensive, man. I don't know if it's just everything in the world right now or what, but man, you can't even get a used gas welder for less than like $600. A good one. A good one. Not like Chicago Electric or something. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But... Luckily, I got friends that have welders, and I can go ahead and do this, and then we'll worry about getting another one at some other point. We're going to go ahead and throw some uh, welds across the top here, and I'll clean up the bottom, and then we'll throw some welds across the bottom all the way down. Not all the way down, just in between, like every six inches, maybe an inch and a half or so. Let's do it. Woo! All right, top part is welded up. No, I'm not going to zoom in on my welds. I'm a really good welder. This is embarrassing, but it's... I'm having trouble with the settings on this machine. The knee hurts, the back hurts. The There's a lot of contaminant on here that I'm not able to get off. Glare from the sun was in my eyes. It's cold outside. There's a little shrinkage, you know. It doesn't look good. That, you know, we're going to gloss over that. I don't know. I preheated it, not getting enough penetration. Just too much crap on here. It wants to burn up the wire rather than going in, so it is what it is. It's attached. We'll get it figured out at another point when we rebuild all this again. I'm going to clean up the underside. That should be easier to get to. And then we'll uh, probably get some good welds on the bottom. And I'll, I'll maybe show you those. I got some dimes on the top. They're just really fat dimes, like caterpillar dimes. So really no penetration at all. Okay. Well welded up underneath. Looked a little bit better, but because I was able to clean it up some more, but 
just not great. I don't have the right tools here to do the job. I don't have a wire wheel or anything to clean this thing up. So kind of just getting as hot as I can, shoving the wire in there. Now we need to straighten out this bar the best we can so we can throw it on here and then we'll weld it up and then we'll be done. It'll be good enough for the day. Well, all right, that turned out to be way more of a pain in the arse than I had anticipated. I was just gonna come over, straighten it out, weld it up, but turned into a giant project. We're all welded back on here, all the way down. That thing is much straighter now. This thing is actually attached, so the ramps won't just fall off. I'm trying to load something up. We're good to go now. Only took till the very end to get the settings worked out on this guy and uh, get to areas that I could actually clean the powder coat off. But it's all good to go now. Now I can go home and nurse this headache. It's a good one right behind the eye. But uh, like I said, this was just going to be like a little quick update video on uh, putting this trailer together, but it turned into be quite the project. Um, but I'm glad that we got it knocked out and it's good to go now. Not worried about um, throwing things on there and stuff breaking and falling off. But uh, This trailer's been around forever and tend to keep it around for a long, long time. So it'll be worth cleaning up and fixing up. Only thing is it's kind of narrow. Like that C10, when I threw it on here, tires are touching both sides of the rails. Is what it is, but... I can use this thing for hay, use it all kinds of stuff. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching this episode of me struggle with this thing, nursing my headache. And uh, we'll get back into some really good projects here soon. Like I want to clean this thing up and paint it. But like I said, we got to tear apart that RV before I get any of that done. I don't want to scratch up a freshly painted trailer. <sighs> thanks again for watching. Appreciate all of you. Uh, thanks to you, the gave condolences on my last video it means a lot i appreciate all of you and uh make sure you guys have fun